the smart city concept is like teenage sex. You know? Everyone talks about it, but nobody really has done it. Today is to show you some of the projects already going on here in the main street of Barcelona, because here we will see very clear the Internet of Things concept. What is a smart city? Obviously nobody wants to be stupid, but when you look what it means to be smart, what you see is that there is a, a lot of smoke. ago when the previous mayor was elected, Xavier Trias, he decided to, to, to focus his strategy with the, the smart city concept and what he did was to create a team called the smart city team that was in charge to coordinate and centralize all, all the projects that were running here in Barcelona from the different departments of the city council and to have a transversal vision in order to manage much better the, the, these projects. This car allows you to recharge your car completely free, with energy completely free. And so you came here, you can park for half an hour, and while you are shopping, and you can be recharging your, your car. Barcelona, seen from the outside, uh, is seen as a very innovative, uh, very uh, creative city, very cosmopolitan, and uh, with a big reputation about smart things and a smart city, on the one hand, but when you land in Barcelona, uh, the impression that you have is the other, the opposite, that nobody talks about the smart city uh, or technology in the city. First, because from the smart city policies, there is not a, a clear understanding of the needs of the citizens. Second, because they don't know how to define a citizen. And third, because maybe the problems of the citizens doesn't need high-tech technology. When I was on the streets, I used to sleep in one of those, together five people. So it was, and we had heating, so... It was lovely because it was winter. It was the crisis, they were cutting in expenses, so we were fired. No problem, I thought, uh, as if I found this job, I could find another one. <laughs> it was not the case. And in the end, I ran out of money and I found myself on the street. My last night on, on the street, I was sleeping in a cash dispensary shop with four more guys. One was a former lawyer. The other one was a former physical trainer of a small football team. We were people with a degree. No one of, the, of us drank or was on drugs, so we were the odd bits of being a homeless. You have this kind of top-down envision of how technologies should help people without taking into account what are the real needs of the city, of the citizens. Uh, first, second, that we always tend to go to trendy technologies that can allow us uh, to be in, in the future. Usually social problems are not technological problems. Technology can help them to solve. Uh, the lack of food in the city, for instance, is not a technical problem. There is a technology not only in the city, all over the world to have food for everybody. It's a political problem of power, of hope. And beneath these social movements, uh, there are a lot of initiatives on belonging to Creative Commons, between, uh, belonging to kind of uh, using 3D printing 
or technology to enhance life in the neighborhoods and so on that are worth explore. But this is mostly not initiative that has been taken primarily by, by the city council or what we can call the smart city, but as a kind of opposite of the smart city. In the case of the sensor of the intensity of traffic, we have paid for, for them. No? We have a local company that works in this kind of sensor and we have paid in order to do this project here in Barcelona. Many solutions of the smart city is about uh, externalization of services of infrastructure. To whom? To big companies. If you think about what the Smart City Expo was at the beginning, it was mainly a promotion tools for governments and large companies uh, of products, mainly promoted by the Intels, the Cisco's, and etc. No? Intel wants a world full of uh, devices because each device will have an Intel chip. Cisco wants more devices connected because then they will build infrastructure into the city to make that possible, and so on and so on. We want to really be the leaders no, in this urban innovation area and to also um, attract investments for the city in order to continue investing in new projects for the city. The Barcelona Smart City strategy is the well-being, no, improve the well-being of the citizens and tourists of Barcelona and the economic progress. Citizens are just playing a secondary role. They are clients under this uh, model of the smart city. They are the users, no? while what we are talking about is considering not users but actually producers of the city. And that's where technology can be an enabler and not a controlling tool. We strongly believe that the smart cities should be produced by smart citizens and that's why open source and accessible technologies uh, like uh, sensor devices powered by, uh, by Arduino could be really useful to do that. One is a smart city approach. This is a black box of technology managed by a company which is expensive. In the other hand, this is a smart citizen. Low cost sensors, open source, you can research what they mean, how they're used for. So we created a 150 euro kit, a sensor device that contain, contains air pollution sensors, sound sensors, temperature, humidity, noise, etc. So people can install it in their houses uh, using their own Wi-Fi connections and then without using an extra infrastructure they could actually start to contribute into the production of data of the city. It's a kind of collaboration, public-private collaboration. Barcelona and the City Council offers you the opportunity to deploy your products. We don't pay for your specific products. So then it's a win-win situation because they can have the opportunity to try in real areas, you know, in real urban areas, their products. For me, when you use the word smart city, you are using, you are buying an ideological package. And therefore, it's not about one single measure that is positive or another that is negative. And the point is that this is driving society towards, or the city towards uh, an agenda and a way of organizing that I don't like it. We are waiting for the new mayor, that is Ada Colau, to know what is going to happen, what, how she wants to change the strategy, because she's really focused in the social aspect, so maybe she wants to to focus our strategy more also in the social area, but we, we are just waiting for new structures. I think that now the discourse is shifting and we are heading towards a more human smart city, hopefully.